Hey friends, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Mama Mel, and welcome if you're new. Today I was going to bring you one of my delicious, quick and easy Caesar chicken, but as I was making dinner tonight, I came to a revelation about myself. So y'all come on along, cook some dinner with me, and I'll tell you how this story unfolds. Caesar chicken has very simple ingredients. You're going to need, usually I have creamy Caesar dressing, sour cream, and Parmesan cheese, and of course your chicken. You're gonna take about half a cup of sour cream and mix that with a cup of Caesar dressing. This Caesar worked just as good as the creamy Caesar that I normally have. I already have my chicken breast in a couple of casserole dishes and you do prep that. I must have not filmed that part for you, but you just season them well with pepper. I don't use salt because the dressing and the cheese has a salty enough taste, but I do uh, use pepper and I'll use some of that powdered Parmesan cheese that's in the can. You season both sides of the chicken and then you're just going to cover it in that creamy um, mixture that you've mixed up with the dressing and the sour cream. You're going to spread that over it evenly and use it all because it will make a wonderful sauce for this um, chicken. And you're going to bake it about 30 minutes in a 375 degree oven. You just want to make sure it gets to 150 degrees. Before you put it in the oven then, you're going to sprinkle some real grated. If you just have what's in the can, that's fine too. But go up, back in with about a cup of Parmesan cheese and put that over the top before you put it in the oven. Now we have here the fixings for potato cakes. We had some leftover mashed potatoes from Lee's. All you need is a little flour, some cheese, an egg, salt and pepper, and onions. Now, if you have uh, green onions, they're wonderful in potato cakes. So are bacon bits, and even corn. You can do a lot of different things with leftover mashed potatoes. If whether you've made them, even fresh or even instant mashed potatoes will work even better. If you set them in the refrigerator and let them get good and stiff overnight, they make the best potato cakes. And I had been thinking about this ever since the night before that I was going to make some the next day. So here, you're just going to chop your onion up just as fine as you can get it. You don't want too big of chunks in here. Put that in the bowl there with your leftover mashed potatoes. And here you'll see, I'm really thinking about these potato cakes. I decided I, that, that was not enough leftover mashed potatoes in there. We probably needed just a little bit more. So I went back in for a little more. And now, um, into your potato and onions, you're going to crack one egg into there to kind of help them bind together. You're going to put you some cheese in there, probably about a third a cup or so. And then about... A half a cup of flour or so um, to mix in and you're also going to season this up with some salt and pepper. Potato cakes is one of those things that you just got to make them a few times till you get the feel for it. Um, the batter sometimes it'd be real stiff and I almost put just a little bit of water or milk into this but I'm glad I didn't because you get in that vicious cycle of 
you know you add a little liquid and then you want a little more flour and then they just get kind of gummy and they don't fry up real good um, but there's nothing better than a good old potato cake it just takes me back and the more that I am standing here mixing on these things I'm just getting so excited about these things and the fact that I know I still have a little bit more mashed potatoes in the fridge that I could make some more another day. I'd like to know who came up with this idea out of leftover mashed potatoes. It's just genius to me. So you can see all that's getting mixed in real good and you just put you some vegetable oil in a skillet and get it good and hot and then you're just going to drop this potato mixture in here just by big heaping spoonfuls. You want to put it in and you know I try to smoosh it down just a little bit but you really don't want to move it around a lot and you don't want to you know mess with it too much until it gets a nice crispy coat on the bottom of it. You don't want to try to flip them too early or they'll get real mushy like and kind of fall apart on you. You got to let them get that good crust on the underside. And then when you flip that thing over, it's going to be golden brown. And then you can mash it down and get it good and flat after you've got one side browned up and crispy. You can mash it real flat. And those things will fry up so flaky. And I know I'm not doing this chicken justice because it is good. I'm checking on it here and you can see it looks good. I've checked my temperature. It's perfect. This is going to be an awesome meal. And after you get this chicken out and you make sure your temperature is good on it, you want to put it back in under broil for just a few minutes. Let it get nice and browned up. And friends, look at those potato cakes when you take them up. They're just beautiful. And right here is when I realized I'm a side chick. I've been one all along. I couldn't even leave that one little crumb in there. I love this creamy Caesar chicken, but I could eat these potato cakes all day long. I would go for a side any day over a piece of meat casseroles, salads, vegetables, any of those things. Roasted casserole, however you want to fry them up. I love a side dish. And these were so good. I don't know if it was just where we had not had them in a long time, but this meal really hit the spot that night. We had some leftover green beans and macaroni. That's our go-to's. Potato cakes and this yummy, creamy Caesar chicken. And if you let that chicken set just a little bit when you get it out of the oven, that liquid will thicken up and it makes the best sauce over that chicken. And here's my second batch of potato cakes. You can see I got a little worried. I thought I had burned them down there messing in that chicken but they were fine. The second batch always looks just a little bit darker than the first batch. Same thing with pancakes. 
but you can see look at the size of that potato cake in proportion to everything else that we had so thank you so much for stopping by my channel today i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you've got some dinner inspiration if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet please do give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments are you a side chick too have a great day bye bye